and going live in three, two, one. All right, hello everyone and welcome to another episode in our Brandswan Live Workshops. We are super excited today because we have someone uh, with great renown joining us to speak today and that is Antoinette Blake, the Delaware blogger and one of our previous top 10 most inspiring women. <laughs> so excited to have you back. In addition to that, Antoinette is a social media manager and author and award-winning blogger, TV slash podcast host, professional speaker and branding specialist. So she is the total package. Go ahead and take it away, Antoinette. Oh my goodness, Jen. Thank you so very much for inviting me to be a part of this series. You know, we've have some history, like you said, I was back uh, one of the influential people, influential women back in the day, and I still consider myself a friend of Delaware, the DE Diva, aka the Delaware blogger, and we are here today on this beautiful Friday, Friday for all of you that are just counting down to the first day of spring on Sunday, and I'm here to present podcasting for your business or brand. But before we begin, let me tell you just a little bit about me. Let me share my screen here. Let's go here. Who is the Delaware blogger? A lot of people say the Delaware blogger. Yes, I am the Delaware blogger. I've been blogging since 2012. Some of you may remember my very first blog, the de divadeals.com fashion and fun after 50. Yes, I know I look 25. Please don't even no applause, please. But I will actually be 60 years old this year. I feel so honored and blessed to have reached this milestone. I am also the CEO of A. Blake Enterprises, social media marketing and consulting. I work with entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, and what I like to call side hustlers so that they can engage not only on the right social media platform, but they are engaging in an H to H manner heart to heart because people don't go to social media to, to be sold to, they go to socialize. So I help them navigate social media. And again, I you know focus in on boomers and beyond, but I talk to little kids as well. I'm also the author of Basic Blogging Tips for Beginner and Podcasting Your Purpose Resource Guide. Again, my new blog, adeleblogger.com, is basically on podcasting and blogging. And I try to throw in a little fun stuff on Fridays as well. A blogger on YouTube, Delaware Blogger is my handle. I am currently the host of two podcast shows. On Saturday, the Delaware Blogger podcast covers podcasting pointers on Anchor FM every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. And then blog your way to a business profit is every Wednesday at 1 p.m. So again, I am still covering both angles. I'm a professional speaker because I love to talk. Don't, you know, hey, it's been this way forever. I'm also an educator. I received my BS degree from Delaware State College in 1983. It's now Delaware State University. However, I still go back and teach. I still go back as an adjunct at Dell Tech Community College teaching blogging for businesses and for brands. But the most, the most rewarding thing out of all that I've gone through is the fact that I am a wife of 30 years and the mother of two adult sons. Tyre is 29, Malik is 25. That's a picture of us back in 2017. So God has truly blessed me and I am so super honored and excited to talk to you today about podcasting. And what we're gonna do is I know I have a limited amount of time. And if as we go along, you are have any questions, please feel free to put them into the chat. And then afterwards, even if we don't have time, I will come back and I will reply to any questions that you may have. So the key takeaways for today's presentation is, what is a podcast? Power of a podcast. Why start a podcast? And we're going to talk about how to start a podcast, but we're going to go through that so that it's not all day, you know, topic for you, but you'll get enough of information so that you can say, hey, I'm going to start a podcast this weekend. That's my spring goal is to start a podcast. We'll talk a little bit about equipment as well as the training and coaching that I offer. So let's begin. What is a podcast? I mean, most of us know we've heard the, you know, the term podcast. 
podcast is auditory. It is a way to receive content via your ears. Think of it as radio reimagined, but with a purpose and a plan. Let me take you back. You remember in the movie Christmas Story where Ralphie, every night at 6 p.m., he and his brother, little brother, would get in front of the radio and listen to Little Orphan Annie. They knew that that's what they wanted to do every day. Well, think about that as having a podcast. It's your favorite show that you want to listen to. But guess what, ladies and gents? You don't have to be there at 6 p.m. every night. It is very convenient. You can listen to a podcast from anywhere at any time, but it's basically from a mobile device, your smartphone, your smart uh, speakers. You know, it's not video. Now, you can have a video podcast, and we're not going to talk about that, but we're just going to talk about auditory only, just listening with your ears. The power, oh my gosh, the power of podcasting. Let me tell you something, whether you're a business or a brand, when you create a podcast and your listener is engaged via earbuds or headphones, they are creating and you are creating a very intimate relationship. The largest sexual organ that a human has is between his or her ears. That is the brain. So when they are plugged into your podcast, they are listening to you. They are having a very intimate relationship with you. It's mano y mano. It's you and them. And you know what? You don't even have to get dressed up. You don't have to command. You don't have to travel. Ladies, you don't have to put on makeup and take care of, you know, what you need to take care of because no one can see you. Again, you can have a video podcast, but we're not going to talk about that, but you can create a podcast from the comfort of your home, your bathroom, your walk-in closet, wherever you want to be, because it's a voice without a vest. Men don't have to suit up and wear ties and all of that. You have a stage. Can you imagine for those of us that have, you know, had opportunities to be a professional speaker and get out in front of people, which we've missed, you know, this past year due to COVID. But imagine if you could command 50, 500, 5,000, 5 million people just using your voice. That is so powerful. Imagine you're in uh, Lincoln Financial Field and you're on the, you know, the 50 yard line and you are talking to all these people and the stands are filled. That is what a podcast can do for you, even though it's that intimate relationship. It's one on one, mano y mano. But you know what? Your voice is your vision and it can be shared across the world, not just Delaware not just mid-Atlantic area, not just the United States of America, but this is global because we are walking around with artificial intelligence that allows us to listen wherever, whenever that we want. And using your expertise, your energy, your entertainment, whatever it is, you can reach a large audience. So that is one of the just few things that I consider to being the power of a podcast. Just look at these stats and these stats keep going up and down, but look at that 90 million Americans. I'm saying Americans, remember we are global and guess what? Didn't we just land on Mars, right? So now there's a whole nother group of people. We can be interplanetary now. We can reach everywhere, moon, the Mars, wherever we happen to go, our voice is reaching and over 1.7 million podcast listeners and titles are out there. And I'm going to tell you something. That's not a lot. Uh Uh-uh, not at all. I've been a blogger since 2012, right? Bloggers are blogging every day. You know how many blogs are out there? 650 million blogs and people are starting blogs each and every day. So you got 650 million blogs and 1.7 podcast? That's infancy. That is nothing. This is the time to do it. No, it's not saturated. No, it's not over. If you think about this, let's let's think about this. You know, you see these beautiful trees that are about to bloom and you should say, oh my gosh, when was the best time to plant a tree 10 years ago? Well, it would have been 10 years ago. So when's the best time to plant a tree now? Now. So yeah, you could say, when was the best time to create a podcast 10 years ago? It would have been 10 years ago, 
But when's the best time to start a podcast? Now? Right now. So this is a powerful, a powerful medium for promotion and marketing because you have a captive audience. You have people that can get this anytime, anywhere. Again, cars are rolling off the the plant lines with infotainment centers built in. They want you to listen. And, you know, some of us, you remember those little road trips, you used to get in the car, put the kids in the car, you know, you drive maybe from here to Rehoboth or down to Maryland and Ocean City. And you always had your favorite radio station, right? Doesn't matter what it was, WBLS, WDS, WHYY, whatever it was, you'd get to a point in your travels that the radio would fade out. You'd lose the signal, right? And you were trying to find a new signal for the location in which you were. And it's so difficult. You get static and you're looking for R&B. You're looking for country western. Whatever you're looking for, it took a toll on you. But if you're in your vehicle now and you pull up your favorite podcast, that podcast is going to ride with you however long, however far, wherever you go. And when you get out of the car, what are you going to do? Pop these earbuds right in your ear. And you know what? It's so convenient. You can, you can go to Disneyland and be on a ride and listen to a podcast. You can go to a lake and fish and listen to a podcast. You can multitask. You can walk the dog. You can do the dishes. You can exercise. You can lay in the bed. You can do whatever. And the same thing about pe- people consuming your content whenever. You can create your content whenever. You can create it when it's convenient for you. And this is considered pull media or pull marketing, push versus pull marketing. Those of us that have our business or are thinking about a business, we know we have to get out there. We have to get out there and we have to promote ourselves. And, you know, simply putting an ad in a newspaper, in a magazine, in a flyer. And sometimes you can't even do that anymore because that's expensive. You know, getting a billboard or ad. Now you can create a podcast free. And when people find you and follow you, they're pulling down your content. You're not pushing your information on them. You're not pushing that fly. You're not pushing that ad. I know when I put out a newsletter, I look for the analytics. Like what in the world is my open rate? If I'm 25% and above, I'm happy. But with a podcast, people are pulling down that content. So the open rate is 100%. They're going to listen because they like what you have. So push media is is not what people want. You know, you go to your mailbox. I did it a few minutes ago. I go to the mailbox. The mail lady put all the stuff in the mailbox. And before I could even get in the house, I've either shredded or dropped um, those flyers or things, advertisements that I didn't want in the recyclable bin. So whatever company pushed them out just lost money. But if I was following this company, regardless of the type of company or the business or the brand it was, I have them. I can always go to their podcast and pull down that content. So that's much better. And it saves on expenses, marketing expenses for your brand or your business. And the most important thing is trust. When people trust you, they like you. And when it comes time to buy from you or support you, they will do so. And that you cannot but I mean, buying trust is very difficult. Again, you are creating an intimate relationship. They are listening to you. They want to learn more. You have the trust factor going and it is keeping you above your competition. You know, you someone can like you go into a grocery store and there's shelves and shelves of cookies and crackers. You're going to go to the one that you like because there's something about them that you trust, something that they've done, something the way they make you feel. So it's, again, a commercial with something, whatever it, it does. And that's that's just a human nature. That's just how we are. So as a business owner, as a brand, when you are building and expanding on your marketing you need to think about starting a podcast so that you can build trust and rise above your competition. Because let me tell you something, I don't care how good you are, there's nothing that you can create, make, sell, invent that can't be done quicker, cheaper, faster, down the street and shipped by Amazon. So remember, they're gonna come to you because they like you and they like you, they trust you, they will buy from you. Again, you have a very attentive audience. Your ears, they're listening. They're intimately listening. And I used to tease my men back in the day. I used to say, you know what? 
when we were in church or the synagogue or the mosque or whatever it was, I'm pretty sure some people had their earbuds in their ear and they wasn't listening to the preacher. They wasn't listening to the imam. They wasn't listening to the bishop. They were listening to sports or whatever. That's what happens. You can do this wherever, whether you're in church, at your kid's graduation, at the recital, at the soccer game. I remember those soccer games. Boring. I would be, if the podcast were around, I probably would be sitting there, you know, with my earbuds and yay, go, go. Not paying attention to the game at all, but listening to my favorite podcast. So you have that attentive audience when you create a podcast, riding your bike, you know, walking the dog, laundry, cooking. And you know, ladies, ladies, sometimes our husband just want to talk. And my husband knows. Sometimes I'll sit there and I'll smile at him and, and he's like, you're not listening to me. And I'm like, no. Because he knows I'm listening to most likely my podcast to make sure it came through. But I'm like, no, hold on, wait a minute. I'm not listening to you. He's like, you don't listen to me. I'm like, you know that. We've been married 30 years. I'm not going to start now. So again, if you want to tune somebody out, just pop in your earbuds and listen to your favorite podcast. And again, it's 100% open rate. How many of us on MailChimp, you know, constant contact, mad, me, me, we would love to see an analytic of an open rate of 100%. If you've ever had 100% open rate, I'm pretty sure you were doing the jig all over the house. Like, oh my God, every, all my subbies opened up that email, right? And they took action. That's what's happening when you have this this podcast, because when they're pulling down that content, they've taken action. They've pulled down, they're listening. And the investment is unbelievable. CBS, NBC, Netflix, NPR, Spotify, Apple, iHeartRadio, they're pouring money into podcasts. Obama's, Oprah, Demi Moore, Dennis Quaid, the Pope, everyone has a podcast. I mean, the sports reporter the other day on, on uh, uh, PHL 17, he does the sports all the time. He just said, guess what? My podcast starts today. So even if you have a podcast does not replace, it expands onto your brand. So you can have a TV show, you can have a newspaper, you can have a, uh, a website, a brick and mortar. This is just expanding on what you currently have. It's not replacing it at all. So, you know, people are looking to invest. They're turning television shows into podcasts, turning podcasts into television shows. And people want to be, you know, want to advertise on uh, mediums where people are. And now since this COVID, and then, you know, when we come out in a new normal, people are still going to be very cautious about gathering. We still want to get our information at our leisure. We've just become, you know, creatures of habit. So that's great reasons why, you know, just a few more reasons why it's going to increase your reach. It's going to build trust with your audience and perfect way to pivot. You know, we, the, the catch word is pivot, pivot during the pandemic. My heart bleeds for anyone and everyone that has a brick and mortar store with hard products that they can't promote, they can't sell because they can't have the, the foot traffic that they used to. So why not create a podcast about your product, about your service and start e-commerce? But how do people see these products and hear about these products? You have to tell them about your product. So use this time during this pandemic to you to pivot and pivot your 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 uh, marketing tool to in adding a podcast all right so how to start a podcast okay there's ways to do it uh jen keep me um informed on my time too okay so we're going to talk about um how to start a podcast when i uh coach or I counsel, or I train, whatever the term you want to use about starting a podcast, the first question I ask is, I want to know why. Why do you want to start a podcast? What is it that you want to do? And if someone says to me, I want a podcast so I can make money. I want a podcast so I to monetize it. I will not take you on as a client because that's cool. Money will come, but the passion, what is it that you're trying to do? Who are you trying to help? And why should anyone really listen to you? If you're going into podcasting, blogging, just to, to make money, you know, you're going to get disappointed and you're going to fade away. It's called pod fade because you're not going to get the numbers. Again, there are a, a million other uh, podcasts out there. So you're going to work hard to get yours out there, but know your why. What is your message? And you know what? I truly believe that 
our gift from God is life. And what we do with that life is our gift back to him. So how can you help someone else? That is your why. What do you know? Again, I am a boomer. I was born in the 60s. There are things that I can teach younger people. There are things that I can share with you who's on this call right now. Why should I be so obsessed with how much money I can make doing it when what I can do is to make you successful and then you'd say, hey, Antoinette Blake, hey, the DE Diva, hey, the Delaware blogger really got me on this path and I'm doing so well thanks to her. That's my legacy. That's the legacy in which I want to leave. And so know your why. What is it that you have, whether it's a business, a brand, a product, a service, whatever it is. And it can be weaved into your business. You don't have to start a business podcast just to have a podcast, but you can take your product, your service, and you can weave it into the everyday life. For example, if you're into horticulture and you know about plants or anything like that that can help others, because again, we need to teach other, our legacy behind us. Every life is, is, is in, comes in peaks and waves. And we see that now. There are certain things that we never thought we would do and we're doing it. And that's gonna happen. It's happened before, it's gonna happen again. I may not be around when it happens, but if I can leave my legacy with someone else, I'm happy to do so. So you have a voice, you have a vision, you have a mission and you can literally change someone's life. So know your why, know your why, know your audience, know your purpose, know your plan. And when you get that in your head, it gets better. Then you're going to name that podcast. What is the name of that podcast and that description? And I often tell people, you know, if you were driving down 95 or Route 1 or 13 and you saw a billboard and it had the name of your podcast up there, would it make you smile? Yes. Would that title make you smile? You want to make it short and sweet and you want it to be easily remembered. You know, you don't want asterisks and you know how the how they tell you when you got to change your password you got to use a special code and you know a number you all this people don't have time for that we have no time to try to remember the name of a podcast that has too many symbols in it or an underscore whatever the case may be so make sure that you are in you know something short and sweet and that it's available check and see that it's available and make sure that it's also available and not being used for somebody's URL on those social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok, and the like, because again, you want it to be your own. Short and sweet, and let people know what it is that you're helping them with. Blog your way to a business profit. It's about blogging. The Delaware Blogger Podcast. It's about the Delaware Bloggers Podcast, okay? It's about Delaware Blogger, but I kind of messed up on that, but I remember I started a while ago before the branding thing really hit. So it's like, hmm, is it all about Delaware? And so that's why I got to work hard to make sure that people know that the Delaware Blogger Podcast is about podcasting, okay? <laughs> and then you're going to think about the format of your show. Is it just going to be you? Is it just going to be you talking into a microphone? Are you going to have guests? Is it going to be a call-in show? Is it going to be, you know, multiple hosts? How do you want to do it? And I'm going to warn you, you know, when you start out, you're going to want to probably do it yourself because if you bring on a partner and now that, you know, you can't get together, things happen, life happens, and, and he or she may not be able to get with you every week when you're doing your podcast. So if you want to just make it, you know, fun, you're the solo host, but you bring on a co-host every once in a while, that makes things good for you. Eventually, you know, you build up that relationship, it becomes a, uh, a, a partnership, and, and you can, you'll do it, just knock it out of the park. So again, think about, you know, the type of podcast that you want to have, the length of your podcast. Is it going to be 15 minutes? Is it going to be 30 minutes? Is it going to be 45 minutes? Is it going to be 60 minutes? Only you can determine that. But let me tell you something. If you can say something in 15 minutes, don't drag it out to 30 minutes. You know, Seth Grogan says that about blogging. If you can write a blog post using 50 words, why use 500 or something like that? Because again, people come to you for a reason. They're there to, um, for because they're, they're looking for a solution to their pain point, something that you promised them. So why are you going to be talking about, you know, ABC and then talk about XYZ just because you're trying to draw out 
the podcast. And remember, humans have very short attention spans. We have the attention span that less of a goldfish. So when people are going through their phone, they're swiping through, they're, you know, they're, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. They may stop. So again, give them bits and pieces, but then you know what? They may binge on your podcast, which is what I talked about last week on the Delaware Blogger Podcast, binge listening podcast. You may find that you are so excited about what he or she is talking about that you're going to just lay on the sofa like they say, Netflix and chill, you're just going to podcast binge and chill. So you want to be able to do that. Or like I said, walk outside. I'm going for a walk. This would be a great podcast to listen to and motivate me to get outside and do some walking. And then the schedule of your show, even though you can do it at your convenience at any time, what I like to say is know the day that you want your show to drop. So when someone asks you, what day is the Delaware Blogger podcast? I can just say Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Every Saturday morning at 10 a.m., it's a new episode. You can go back and listen to all the previous episodes anytime you want to. And I can create my podcast and schedule it for whenever I want to. But I know in my head, and you know, every Saturday at 10 a.m., there's a new episode of the Delaware Blogger podcast. So again, it not only creates you know that schedule for yourself but for your followers because they want to be consistent they want you know that's that relationship right you don't want to break the date so you want to be consistent in the scheduling of your show and only you are going to be able to determine when the best times are for your show you will look at and see when people are hitting your show once you start promoting it again this is your show this is your show you have to do you boo boo and i say that all the time this is your legacy that you're leaving, not mine, not Joe Rogan, not Michelle Obama, not Oprah Winfrey, not Dennis Quaid, not anyone else. This is for you. This is what's going to make you feel comfortable. I'm not telling you this to add more on your plate. I'm telling this to you to, so that you can get some things off your plate. If you're a blogger, repurpose your content, turn it into a podcast. If you're a writer, you're an author, turn your book into a podcast series. If you love a particular genre of music, there's others out there, find them, talk about that. People wanna connect, we are humans and we are communal. You know, right now we're separated, but when we pop these earbuds in our ears, we're connected again. So that's another great way. And educators, oh my gosh. You know how kids, some kids have very difficult time. Everyone has a different way to learn. When I was in college, if I missed uh, a professor's um, uh, lecture, I was lost. I could not go back to my room and study from a book. I needed to hear it. Had they had a podcast you know, about that lecture, I could have went back and listened to it and it would have, again, got better in my brain. Some students don't like to read paper. They like to listen. And these kids, they're sitting in front of Zoom you know, cameras all day. That's difficult. And how about those that are in areas that may be embarrassed by their environment? They don't want to be on screen, but as a teacher, you created a podcast assignment that they could pop their earbuds in with their smartphone or their laptop and they could listen and they could lay on the sofa, you know, walk outside with, and no one's seeing them. That would be so much better. They may learn better. And also some people like auditory. Again, they just love you know, the true crime, this mystery. I know when I was a, you know, younger, my sons were babies and I would put each of them on the side of me in the bed and I'd read bedtime stories. They probably really didn't understand the word, but it was the enthusiasm in which I read it that caused them to think about their imagination. So again, when you're reading something to somebody, their imagination, that brain, remember that brain is moving and they're thinking and they're excited. So teachers, you can create podcast series. You can have podcast stories. Businesses can have podcast um, Friday afternoon meetings. Who wants to sit on a Zoom call or in a conference room at four o'clock on a Friday to talk about what happened the week before? But if the manager or the CEO of that business said, I'm going to put out a podcast episode every Friday at four, and we're going to discuss it on Tuesday at two. And you know what? They put out that podcast. You have all Friday, all Saturday, and all Sunday to do listen to it at your leisure 
before the next meeting at Tuesday or at two. So I'm not having to sit there and listen to everybody talk about what their different departments did if I can listen to it in a podcast. So it is so many things that you can do with a podcast that's gonna help not only your students, your, your, your employees, your brand, your business. I mean, it's amazing. You can have a podcast on anything, on any topic at any time. So it's wonderful. So those are just the few ways in which to do so. It's not going to cost you an arm and a leg, especially when you start. You know how I started? At a smartphone. Most smartphones today, I'm, and I'm team Android, sorry, Apple users out there. I'm team Android all day, er day. I don't like Apple products, but I did have to get an iPad, thanks to my son, to join Clubhouse, mm, whatever. But anywho, you have a smartphone, and most smartphones now, unless you have a flip phone, I'm sorry, you AARP uh, uh, jitterbug people, <laughs> but if you have a smartphone, most smartphones have great speakers, and you can download the Anchor FM app today. And you can start a podcast. And what I like to say is when you start that podcast, you're going to practice in your speaker. You can get a, a, you know, a little inexpensive mic like this guy. This little condenser mic plugs right into my phone if I wanted a little bit more power. And if, you know, once I'm out and about, I could throw this in my purse, my book bag, my briefcase, whatever, and do this at work. I just plug it right in. This is easy breezy. I have a Yeti mic. The Yeti mic is over there. I bought that Yeti mic back in uh, 2017 and that's supposed to be the big dog. Let me tell you something. This little guy here, he was less than a, what, $30 or something like that. I like this one better than the Yeti mic. You can, again, all you really need is your smartphone and a computer to upload it. And if you want, you can upgrade to a microphone. Of course, people use headphones because it blocks out any external noises. You can hear everything. You can get these at what, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, whatever. You know, you can use earbuds, whatever the case may be. Once you get fancy, you can get some acoustic tiles. You know, you can get the egg crate, plant, all of that. But if you walk into your closet, it's full of clothes. I know it is, ladies. Don't even act like you don't have a lot of clothes in your closet because all that's gonna buffer. Get in there, get in the closet. When, before we moved here to Smyrna, we had to live in an apartment. There was four of us living in an apartment and I was still recording. We were like on top of each other. So I had to do my interviews from the bathroom. So I go in the bathroom, I shut the door, I put towels around, I pull the hamper up, I close the toilet seat lid and I put my laptop and my phone right there on top of the hamper and I record it. I'm not going to tell anybody who I interviewed during that time that they were being interviewed from a bathroom, a toilet, because they didn't know they can't see you. I had good acoustics. I had all my equipment there so you could do it in the bathroom. Think about the days when, um, you remember when you were a kid and you got the two chairs together and a comforter and a blanket? Get up under there and record. You can do it. Prop up the, you know, the comforter in your bed, your, you know, in your bedroom on your bed. And your husband might come in or your, your boyfriend might come in and say, what the heck is she doing under the covers like that? But hey, you're doing your podcast. No one can see you. So again, you can start today, tonight, the spring, you know, so Saturday, just with your smartphone. And it's really easy breezy. And again, I started my first podcast in 2017. Now, one is on Anchor, still on Anchor. The other one is I have a hosting platform um, that I pay for, and he does the cleanup. But I practice, practice, practice progress. No one's ever going to be so happy the first day they do a podcast. Go, oh, my God, that sounded great. Knocked it out of the park. Now, practice, practice progress. I just started using Audacity software, which is free to add music and to cut out the ums and the ahs. Or if I have like a coughing fit, you know, I teach you how to hydrate and urinate before you start that, press that button because you want to make sure and trust and believe. I've actually heard somebody's guest get up in the middle of an interview and it's like the host is like, where'd you go? And the, the guest was, I had to go to the bathroom. I'm like, ew, that's so rude. We don't, we didn't need that <laughs> to know that. So I want you to, you know, hydrate and urinate before you press the publish button. 
you can have music and graphics, you can create a blog post or a website or whatever. There's always ways in which to promote yourself to make it a little bit better. And again, you can have a home studio in your walk-in closet, in your basement, under, you know, close the windows, close the blinds, get rid of your bae, your boo, the kids too, your dog, all that, close them out. Hey, hey, give me 30 minutes. I just need 30 minutes of complete quiet. And you just record, um, or you can come to a studio. And uh, as you guys are following me along, you know, you know, you know, coming to Middletown, Delaware is Blake's booth at home, right? We are creating a podcasting studio. So if you want to record in the studio, you can schedule time to do that as well. There's hosting plans like Lipson and Buzzsprout and all those you can pay or just go on Anchor FM. And again, I've been on Anchor FM since 2017. I have 248 episodes that... From where I started, and I will not get rid of the, the original one, the original podcast, if you go back to episode one, I tell you, I bet you it was probably in the car on Route 202 at a stoplight, and I was recording into the phone, because that's how we got started. We just had fun. We'd go in the backyard. we talked about the weather. we talked about life. It was just a great way in which to do so. So Anchor FM, which was purchased by Spotify for millions of dollars, okay? And Spotify ain't playing. They're going up against the big dogs. So they're, that's free. So, you know, it may not, you may not get all the bells and whistles that Buzzsprout or Lipson and all the other ones say that they do, but you've got to do you, boo-boo. And I'm comfortable with Anchor FM and I still promote the Delaware Blogger podcast on Anchor FM and I'll probably do it until I leave this earth. But I'm going to have another podcast and it's not saying you can only have one. You can have two podcasts. You can have three podcasts. You can have as many podcasts as you want. So the location and the hosting is all of, you know, whatever you want to do. So now I'm getting towards the end. I think I'm doing pretty good with my time. Jen, how am I doing with my time? Good. Great. Okay. I do talk fast, but I try to get as much information in as possible. So give you plenty of time for some Q&A. So again, I do offer um, coaching sessions, you know, where it's five weeks. I try to do an hour to 90 minutes from soup to nuts. We talk about everything from, you know, what you want to do to all the way up to monetization. And we do it now via Zoom. Um, but I'm also going to be doing this um, COVID compliant at home. So, you know, if you want to meet me face to face, um, I'm going to be at, at um at the, at the podcasting studio now, every Thursday, starting, you know, this week, um, next week, I'm gonna be there all day, every day on Thursdays, but you can start booking with me now. Um, but April 8th, put that on your calendar. That is going to be the official grand opening launch. We're going to have party and balloons and food and giveaways and all kinds of cool things on that day. So that's um, going to be in Middletown on Patriot Drive, 108 Patriot Drive, Suite A, right across from the new brewery. I was like, oh my God, there's beer across the street. Too bad I don't drink beer anymore. But anywho, if you do, you can go right across the street and get beer. You can hydrate, but make sure you urinate before you press publish. Remember that. <laughs> um, also, the Zoom calls will do that. You get worksheets and eBooks and resource guides and printables and checklists. And let me tell you something, you're gonna get homework too. That's the educator in me. It's not gonna be graded homework, but it's gonna be a homework assignment because actually my session two is this afternoon um, at three o'clock and she better have her homework done because if not, we got it, you know, we got it'll put you back. But no, I just, I hold your hand all the way through. And then even after we finish the five weeks, you've got 30 days of unlimited text and email access to me. And you know what? People are still texting me years later. I just I just tell people, one, I don't sleep with my phone. My phone is not in my bedroom. So if you text me while I'm sleeping, and I do sleep, say I'm not no early riser. I don't get up at five in the morning. I'll never get up at five in the morning. I don't get up at six either. I don't even get up hardly at seven either. So whatever. But anywho, <laughs> um, I will get back to you whenever you text me, you know, at my convenience. That's the great thing about having your old, own business and being almost 60 years old. You can do what you want to do, how you want to do it, and when you want to do it. So that's a great thing. All you people think about retiring. Yeah, okay. You can do what you want to do. And then we'll set you up with Anchor FM and I'll help you with your cover art. I will help you with your intro, your outro, your trailer. I help you with your publication and all of that. So that is, you know, I really kind of hold your hand. And if anybody's on this, um, excuse me, anybody's on this call that has taken my course or um, they know, you know, I don't play. I just, you know, I just do this because I love doing it. Um, you can also just send me an email. Uh, Jen, you know, you guys know, just send an email to me. And if you want a copy of the seven step podcast checklist, um, I offer that free. That's a, that's a freebie giveaway. 
um, because I love, again, I love helping people. And this is also great. I mean, um, the seven step checklist, again, will take you through soup to nuts from beginning to end. I do freebies every week as well. But this one is I, I'm kind of proud of because it does take you from soup to nuts. Everything from step one, planning, you know, choosing your topic and your niche, um, length, all of that. Step two, setting up your microphone, your headphones, planning out your schedule, your recording space, your intro, your outro. Step three, I actually uh, is about recording, practicing, practice, practice, progress, you know, um, set up. And always here, right here, hydrate, urinate, and remove distractions. I'm serious. Don't want to be put and you got to go to the bathroom. Um, step four, editing. You want to edit your intro, your outro. You're converting your MP3 to an MP4 if you want to upload it to YouTube. Um, creating graphics. Turning your show notes. You Show notes are really important. People say, I don't want show notes. I'm not going to read it verbatim. I know. You don't want to read it verbatim. But trust and believe, not everyone wants to listen to everything they might want to read it and you might have something or guess that you want to send the links to and the person that's listening is not going to be listening and writing. So you may want to have a web page or a blog post to accompany the podcast so that they can go to it and click on the link to you know, enter the giveaway or whatever the case may be. Uh, step five, we talk about the RSS feed and hosting, you know, how you upload your, your um, shows to the various directories. You want to be on Apple, iTunes, SoundCloud, all of the others. And this is another great thing about Anchor FM. They upload to 11 platforms for you. So you don't have to worry about it. And to apply for iHeartRadio and the others, easy breezy. Just send them an email with the RSS feed. Um, creating teasers is step six, how you launch. You know, um, promotion. The promotion is probably going to be the most um, heavy lifting of a podcast because you got to get it out there. You got to push it out there and you've got to do it unless you're going to pay someone else to do it. And I don't, I usually just use those free platforms, using automating and syndicating buffers, Hootsuite, Promo Republic or whatever, just to get it out there, let people know they have a podcast. And again, the last page is just, if you want to schedule guys, you can schedule a 15 minute after this, if you want to schedule a 15 minute complimentary discovery call, just to talk about what it is that you want to talk about on a podcast, please send an email to me info at ablakeenterprises.com. And if you'd like to sponsor your product, your service, your, you know, something that's coming up, send me an email because I have advertisements that I read as well on my uh, Delaware blogger podcast. So if you're having an event, ladies or gentlemen, and you want to promote it on my podcast, I have a, a slide deck that tells you how many, you know, how many downloads, how many uploads, you know, all my, my demographics, I'm on all social media platforms. Everybody knows the Delaware blogger, blah, 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 blah. So you'll get your money's worth for an ad on my um, podcast. Again, I am the CEO of A. Blake Enterprises Social Media Marketing and Consulting. That is my telephone number. Again, I do not sleep with my phone. I will not answer this phone, but, you know, before or, you know, first thing in the morning because I do my prayers. I do my gratitude journal and I give thanks for waking up, looking up because everything else is gravy, baby. And then I start my work day, but that's my email. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can use my link tree ID, which is Dell blogger. That'll take you to my YouTube channel, which I also do podcasting pointers on there as well. And there's hundreds of episodes on that. I mean, yeah, last year I, I did over a hundred and some episodes on podcasting pointers. That was a challenge I did for myself and I did it. And I was going to turn it into a book, but then I, got, I didn't want to do it. But anywho, that's another thing. You can turn your podcast into an ebook. So that's my number. That's where you can get me. And if you have any questions, Jen, I'm going to let you take it over. I'm going to stop sharing. And uh, I think I made it in the time. <laughs> Perfect. Beautiful. I was going to say, now you know what we're going to beg uh, Antoinette to come back and talk about is the turning your podcast into a book, maybe. Um, all right. So for the viewers watching on Facebook, thank you so much for joining us. We're going to close down for the private Q&A with the people here in Zoom. But all of that information that Antoinette just shared, we will be posting the links in Facebook as soon as we get a chance. So look for that in a few minutes. And if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the chat or send me a private message and I will make sure that Antoinette gets them. So thanks again for tuning in on Facebook. Next time, join us in the Zoom. <laughs> All right. Take care. I want to shout out. Can I shout out Dwayne? Dwayne, thank you very much for uh, uh, coming out today. Sheree, thank you as well as Taquana. I hope you feel better. Um, let's see what else in there. Yep. Taquana, feel better. Great thing, Dwayne. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Thank well, you. Well, I was going to say, but don't leave. Don't leave. No, I'm not leaving. I'm. You know me. I'm right here. Okay.